So what's all this going on with Washington State, Oregon State, when it comes to their lawsuit? I, I haven't unpacked this a lot on Locked On Big 12 in the idea, and you know that I'm, I'm a big proponent of these two teams being considered in conference play for you West Virginia fans, Cincinnati fans, your UCF fans. I'm not anti Pitt, Louisville, those teams being welcomed in in a couple of years and figuring out where the ACC schools go. But I don't think Brett Yormark and the Big 12 can sit and wait. There's not just like a, oh, we can't take these two teams right now. We're going to need to sit and wait for the ACC schools. I don't not, I don't think that's how this works. There's not a, Brett Yormark's not a, oh yeah, I'm going to play defense kind of guy. He's an offense, power forward, get her done. Now this lawsuit, what it is, is Washington State and Oregon State are vying for the assets of the Pac-12. They want voting power, staying power, the money, all of that left over. So when it comes to bowl games, March Madness, they're effectively saying, hey, look, everybody else left this conference. They shouldn't get a say in the future of this league. They shouldn't get payouts from this league when they've already decided this is not where they want to be. The big thing that plays into this is George Klyovkov said a couple of months ago, when USC and UCLA left the league is like, yeah, they're not voting anymore. They, as, as teams, as schools who have left the league, they can't vote now. Wouldn't that still apply for Utah? Wouldn't that apply for Colorado, for Oregon, for Washington? The answer is yes. It seems very obvious that when Washington State and Oregon State, what they're doing is they're going to court to say, hey, look, America, this is the Pac-2. We are united as two teams, and we... Obviously, if or if USC, UCLA couldn't vote, then Oregon shouldn't be able to. If leaving this conference, breaking the grant of rights, the grant of rights saying, you know, like, hey, everybody, we're, we're stuck here. We're going we're gonna to be together for a little bit. 2024, 25. Everybody hold your horses. And now these schools announced before August of 24 that they're going to leave. Can't do that. Mm-mm. That's against the grant of rights. So now... Oregon State, Washington State have a beautiful case going to the court of law and saying, hey, look, if there are $320 million sitting around for one of these schools moving forward, because that's what the Big 12, uh, get, that's, that's what ESPN pays out to conferences like the Big 12, the Pac-12, the ACC. If that's the case, we are the only two teams here. We're the only ones that exist. We have a grace period for two years. We get that money. We vote to not divvy that out to Utah, who's in the Big 12, to not divvy it out to to Oregon, who's in the Big Ten, we, Washington State, Oregon State, Pac-12, Pac-2, we get that money. Now, according to what Jim Williams said, with that, they have, the same thing as the Big 12, leverage. And when it comes to leverage, they don't want, they don't want to bow down, go to the Mountain West, bow down and assimilate with the American Conference, bring in a a, a Memphis and a Boise State or Fresno State, try to piece a conference together. Kirk Schultz, who's on the college football playoff committee, is the president at Washington State. He has made it clear that their, their path is to be Power Five. This isn't a settle for something else, settle for something different. This is, hey, Washington State, Oregon State, we are committed to being power five. And if they can, if they have the money there, and again, I know if you're an East Coast team, you might not like this, but if if they have the money there and they win this lawsuit, that's when things really start to matriculate. So November 14th, we'll know. We'll know in less than a month, we'll know exactly what's going to happen with Washington State, Oregon State. Right, right, right in that timetable, number 14 is kind of a rough. We'll have The public will have an idea of where this is going to go. Now, it doesn't mean November 15th, November 20th, that those two teams will be in the Big Ten or the Big 12 or the ACC. There have been rumors for a lot of different options for those. It does mean to me, though, that in the coming months past that, when they decided, all right, we know now that we, we took them to court It was the obvious decision was made that Oregon State, Washington State are the two teams that make up the Pac-12. When that decision is made, when the money is placed in their hands, they then have leverage. And at that point, they utilize that leverage to go to a conference that is still alive and thriving and could take them. And ESPN says, hey, look, we don't want to lose that money. Or Fox says, we don't want to lose that money. The College Football Playoff Committee says, we don't want to just give that money away to two teams. They've got to do something. So what I'm trying to to put forth here, if you're a BYU fan, Get ready. You know? What do you think? What do you think? Are you cool with this? 
If you're a Utah fan, are you cool with them coming too? Colorado fan, Arizona, Arizona State. If you're a Baylor fan, are you cool with playing Washington State? Are you, are you cool with going to Pullman? If you're a UCF fan, you're probably not. If you're a West Virginia fan, you're probably not. Does this make the conference money long term? I think these are questions Brett Yormark is asking. But whether the answer is yes or no doesn't move the needle as much as money does. If the money's there, these two teams will be here. 100%. That's just what that's the way the whole expansion thing goes. Preseason basketball poll is out. Kansas, off the hook. This is Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is brought to you by Jace Metal. Jace case. Jace Medical is the place to go to take care of yourself. Everybody should have a way. Everybody should have a way to take care of themselves in the event of an emergency. Jace Medical and the Jace case give you an opportunity to do that. Right now, you go to Jace Medical and you don't get caught unprepared. You're empowered to take care of yourself. You get five life saving antibiotics for emergency use. All it takes is to fill out a simple online form, jump on maybe a quick call with one of their board certified physicians. You get ongoing care, ongoing care from their physicians on any treatment related questions. Doctor created, doctor recommended at Jace Medical. Get $20 off life saving antibiotics today from Jace Medical by using code LOCKED ON at checkout on jacemedical.com. J-A-S-E medical.com. Everyone, again, should be empowered to take care of themselves. They offer the Jace case for you to do that. Five, life-saving antibiotics for for emergency use today. Don't get caught unprepared. Get $20 off. Jace Medical. Use code LOCKED ON at jacemedical.com. J-A-S-E, jacemedical.com. 